Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a little craft with me today. Oh my gosh, I just realized I didn't get my high and hugs list ready. Let's go in my book to like a long time ago and let's say hi and hugs to Melissa, Mrs. Gigi, Sheila, and Pat. How about that? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not real, uh, I'm, I'm not real ready to do this, I guess. Uh, we just got home and I'll tell you about that in a second, as soon as I get myself gathered. So what I wanted to do today is, um, I just want to play with some ephemera, not do anything too heavy and hard, but just, um, just play a little bit. So I saw Yvonne Preston has some wonderful uh, videos on her channel about some ephemera. And I thought I'd make some with some of this yummy Emily paper. Uh, she, uh, I will, I'll link Yvonne's channel down below too. Uh, she was just making some simple ephemera and I was like, oh. That looks so good. I think I'm going to do that. But, oh, first I need to show you. I finished the I finished the little faux front envelope that we were doing with the paper pad project. So I just put a little bit of washi and some of the Japanese dictionary, some fabric on the front. Let's see. Um, oh, and I think I did this after we were together just put a little embellishment there so then of course we have our flip up here we have our belly band with a little journaling card in there that has the bunnies on it um i think that's it i think I, this this is from the front so but it, it came together nicely i i'm excited about it so that's going to be one of my things for um, Denver. I'm going to take all of the things I've made in the paper pad project and I'm going to take those to Denver for giveaways and for sale and whatever else. Um, because apparently this, uh, according to, I think I got an email from, might have been Tracy Fox that this Hackney and Company, they don't allow you to sell uh, electronically, in other words, on Etsy. So there you go. Got to But that's all right. All the better for the people that come to the meet and greet in Denver, right? <laughs> okay, so I want to try this little um, envelope thing that she made. And I'm thinking my... Usually my pages are about six inches. So if we went four inches, maybe we go five inches. I think I want to go five inches, which is going to leave just a teeny weeny little strip on the, on the other side. That's okay. Let's do five inches. You know, they'll fit in something, no doubt. They will fit in something. So the reason we just got back is um, we drove to Bozeman to watch Addie play volleyball. There was an eighth grade tournament. And so we went to do that. Ooh, isn't that pretty? And so I think she just kind of took them and made envelopes out of them. I think is what she did. that I guess okay let's make three because she did three and I think I kind of want them about the same size ish so we'll try to do that um yeah so we life is getting back to normal a little bit I need to give you a Bucky update too um he is doing well. It's looking like he may be able to come home on um, Tuesday. So yay, right? Oh, goodness. So relieved that that little, little guy is okay. He's, he's a sweet little soul. I think this, this world just needs him in it. 
And thank you so much for all of your sweet comments on especially the video that where I talked about him being sick. I know that his mama watched that video. She doesn't normally watch my videos necessarily, but probably mostly because she doesn't have time to do anything crafty. <clears throat> she was getting into art journaling, and then, and then that kind of went by the wayside too. Okay, so she did like three envelopes like this. And then... I think she just kind of stacked them ish like one after the other because that would fit on a page well let's get these made into envelopes first so I'm gonna bring over my sewing machine I've been wanting to do this I watched this video a while ago and I've just been wanting to do it so I thought today's the day because actually it's kind of a bonus crafting day because I didn't think um, that I was going to be home because I was at Addie's volleyball. You know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'll do zigzag down the side. I might do straight stitch across there and zigzag. I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, Yeah, so I didn't I didn't know if I'd get to do a video today, all that to say. So this is kind of bonus, bonus time. Don't know which which uh journal I'm gonna use this in or anything, but I thought it would be Kind of fun to try. Where is my scissors? I oh, you're gonna be so proud of me. I took fussy cutting in the car too. It's about an hour and a half to get over to watch Addie play, and um, so my husband was driving. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna fussy cut. So I had a bunch of stuff cut out and. Uh, so it uh, kind of makes me feel like I'm being productive anyway, you know. Oh my gosh, I just noticed I still have the stamp on my hand from <laughs> from the volleyball. <laughs> little little green stamp that says Panthers. <laughs> so funny. Now, of course, you could um, just glue these, too. I just, um, you know, I like, the, I like the sewn look. And now that my sewing machine's working better, oh, yay. But, yeah, I had a great night's sleep last night. Um, and this morning, my daughter said that Bucky is probably going to get out of the hospital in two more days. So thank you all so much for your prayers. I do, do think that they help. And so, so yeah, so he's all on the road to recovery. And so that is awesome. My husband and I are, are kind of slowly but surely, we are um, recuperating too from it all. And so... And as, <clears throat> I mean, happily, my daughter is on maternity leave, so that's been good. Uh, but yeah, there, I think it's nice for him to be home and everything. And okay, so then these three, like so. But then how do we want I mean how tall do we want this little thing to be here it's okay if it's seven and a half so I like having a little bit of space in between like that so not that I'm necessarily going to be able to hold that where it was but we'll give it a try okay so it's right here 
And so we're just going to put glue. I'm just about at the end of this art glitter glue, and I was hoping to kind of get it to the used up point before I get packed up for my retreat because um, okay, straight is the most important thing, I think. Okay, so then if that's there, then we'll put this one. Is that straight? Do we feel like? It's pretty straight. I don't know if it's totally straight. I probably should have decorated the envelopes ahead of time. I can't exactly remember how you did this. <laughs> I don't remember the exact steps, but I might should have decorated the... Uh, flaps in the envelopes first, but that's okay. We can still do it. We'll manage. Yeah, feels good to be in the craft room, though. Um, okay, and that ended up being about seven and a quarter tall, which is perfect, because, you know, usually my um, <clears throat> usually my page is going to be eight and a half. Okay, so I have some of these lovely doilies from A Tattered Dream. And I've got them all coffee dyed. They're kind, they're a bit big for this, but I might be able to use, like, might. I don't only have to use, like, one. Okay, so I'm going to cut that along there. And that's going to go along there. Like so. Okay, let's see. Where's it going? Okay. Yeah, so anyway, good day today. It's rainy here. It's cold. I actually had the heater on for a minute and then I knocked it over and so now it won't turn on again <laughs> oh jeez I'm like just just kind of put that on there um yeah they even said that there's a possibility this weekend of snow in the mountains. <laughs> so I could be driving through snow on my retreat. Actually, last year it did it did snow. Came out to my or woke up to my car being under a foot of snow. But it's good because there's a fire in Yellowstone and we want that to go away. So now I suppose I have to just go like that. I, see, I don't, I'm, I'm not doing this as well as Yvonne did. So definitely check her video out. Because that, I was wondering if I could go this way. But it has to be up high because I don't have that much of a, okay. This would have been easier had I not put everything together already. That's all right. We're going to get her done. We are going to get her done. Not in the right order, but we will get it done. card go yeah so anywho really um okay and that works right there okay what I'm going to try and do is fold that about where it needs to go um 
yeah, so things are getting a little back to normal. Thank you, too, for saying, oh, Gail, don't worry about videos while you're on your retreat, which I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not, I am not going to worry about it because you guys told me not to. <laughs> and I will get as many done as I get done in this next couple of days before I go. I got to start packing up, though. But last time I made myself a nice list of things to bring. So I think that's going to be really helpful. Okay. Well, I do have envelopes and then it's, it's a slight pocket, not much of a pocket. Why is that not holding? Okay, so then at the top, what do I want? Maybe this will be my, this could just be an example for my idea journal, couldn't it? Maybe that's what we should do, I don't know. Um... Or let's do it. Let's use it for. How about for this journal? Um, this one. This one. Let's use it. Let's put it somewhere in there. Maybe. Is this going to be too wide? Be too wide. I forgot this one was a skinnier one. Yeah, it, it was. So, okay, so that makes me think no on that. Okay. Um, I don't know what I want to put right there. Something. Oh, I know. Well, maybe I want to put something there. I don't know. Because I do want to put something up here. And um, Yvonne. Sorry, guys. I had to turn on my heater. I was freezing. I was starting to see my breath down here. <laughs> Yvonne, she does a really cute thing where she puts um, a ticket and a butterfly with, um, with yarn around it. But I was thinking, what about one of these little snippety thingy me jiggies? I mean, that's too much. I'm gonna have to go with one that's smaller. That's kind of cute. I was thinking one of these might work, but I don't know. Ooh, that's a cute one. Yes. Yes, I do like that. I think she just left these two blank. I don't know if I can do that. I feel like I need and they need something. But I do really like that snippet on there. Okay, let's think for a minute. Let's think and ink. Think and ink. Maybe the inking will make me think we don't need anything down there. Yeah, so it was raining cats and dogs when we took out this morning. We had to leave at 7.30 this morning to drive over. And it was really raining, but it's not raining at the moment, but I think we're supposed to have it for rain for days. So, um, but so good because then Yellowstone can recuperate. You know, I think I'm just going to put that right there. And then whatever journal this goes in, it can have little journaling cards in each envelope, right? And that's what I'd like to do. 
I'm happy at least I made one, huh? Now she made another one that was cool and I was gonna try that maybe with that last piece of coffee dyed paper that we cut. Cute, huh? And then just, things just go right in each of the envelopes. Now you could do the little semicircle with a punch too, if you wanted to on your envelopes to make them easier. But I thought that was cute. And then when you put it on your page, you can just, you know, you can just um, go around the three sides and have a big pocket in the back. Well, okay, we did one little piece of ephemera. That's fun. Let's try this other one that she did. How did she do that? I think she, let's see if that's kind of cool that's going to be covered up. Okay, just thinking about which way to go. She had a smaller, felt like kind of a smaller, um, whatever you call this, flap on this one. Okay, let's, let's sew it into an envelope. I think this one we're just going to go straight stitch. Gosh, between my, my my stamp and my turquoise thumb from doing my rings for my um, uh, blue fern, <laughs> my blue fern journal, I just look great, don't I? I'm just going to do a straight stitch because we're going to decorate the bottom here kind of yep I just need a little craft for about an hour that's what I needed what did I do with my scissors they're clear back here okay and and then I'm gonna go get some things printed off because I did have myself a little shop at um, at Medieval Mirage. And ooh, I do love her things. So I thought I would print some off to play with at my retreat and see what to do there. And what I do think I'm going to take my punch and see. Oops, that's the wrong one. Oh, it's on my table. No wonder. I'm looking at it. I'm looking where it's supposed to be, not where it actually is. Just a little bit of a one there. And then that kind of gives it ease of getting stuff in and out, right? Okay, I think we got it. So then she had put a little, a fun little thing across here that was from the kit she was working on. And I was going to see, I don't know that there is one, but let's just look. See, I have these beautiful, I was looking at this bluebird one, but it's obviously too, too skinny. They're all too skinny, unless this one could go sideways with that one and no one would be the wiser yeah I thought I would cut this one up let's do it we'll just get that out and then then this will be a envelope to use in that I'm going to take off the bottom strip the bottom strips are all decorated and I had an idea for those as well which maybe we'll do that next gonna jump around 
Oh, speaking of jumping around, this is a, this is a craft with me. Or at least that's what I'm going to title it. And because I, the viewings or whatever you would call them, the, the views of my videos have gone down since I started calling them potpourri with Gail. Is that weird? But I think people don't know what it is, you know, what it is or what, what to expect in a video called that. And so I don't want people not to watch. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to craft with me. Um, and I, I still think the subby that came up with that, I thought that was kind of cute, but apparently not descriptive enough for people to know what they're kind of what they're getting into, you know? Well, let's see if this is what we're kind of looking for. See, it's gonna be too tall because it's supposed to be another pocket, but we could cut that, couldn't we? I think we could and we should. I think we could and we should. So I see about where I need to cut it, I think. I'm going to just cut it right above that rose right there. And who knows where that other little strip will come in handy. Probably come in handy somewhere. And then what I might do is do the little clip again right kind of in the middle. Well, that flew clear across the room. And then that will be a little pocket as well. Okay. Let's see how we do. Yeah, I don't, other than to do maybe a couple little things, I don't think I'm going to get too crazy working on my Blue Fern Studio project until I get back from the retreat because um, yeah. you're right about there. Okay, now something's coming to mind as I look at this. No. Nope. It's too much, too much of the same thing. Do we have one of these little strips that would, would that would be kind of the same? Or go with the too big. I want something skinnier. Am I going to have to make a made-to-order one? <laughs> <coughs> I'm not seeing any that are super skinny like that. Okay, well, see, like, even that's a little too wide, although that's, that's sort of cute. That's not bad. That's not bad, that one. I have every single one of these I've made out here, aren't I? This one's so cute. I wish that one would. Nope, it's not as cute as that one on there. See, here's a thin one, but it's blue. Nope, I'm liking that one. We're going with it.
There's a skinny one. That was kind of what I had in mind. It was something like that, but I like that one better. It sort of has the same aesthetic, I guess. I sure hope you can hear me talking with my heater on, but I'm feeling a lot better. I was just so cold. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can see, I mean, I have my fuzzy sweatshirty things on. All right, well, let's call that good then. And then let's try my idea for those strips along the papers. Let's try that once we get this little envelope done. kind of fun. So, just a little envelope. Put something in. You can put a little tag or something in there, which we probably will later. That's fun. So that's going to go with my blue fern stuff. I don't have any ephemera ready for that. So, let's do, let's do my, my thought that I had with those strips. Okay, I gotta find them all for a second. Come here, you. Come here, all of you. I have a bunch because I, you know, a bunch of pages. I might have to cut off. Could cut off the rest of them too. The ones that I haven't cut off. Oh, there's one. There it is. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's to be it. But I have two more. And we know I'm not going to want to leave them on there, right? So let us remove them. That's a pretty one. They, they really are. They're lovely. Even the strips. And I love it that we have the strips to be able to just use on this little idea. And a lot of scrapbooking papers actually do have uh, something on the other side, uh, some sort of decoration. So I think this will work with lots of different ones. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I want is a non-coffee dyed um, index card. Let's see. I got to think of where I have one of those. I shall return. Oh, wait, there might be one right here. Is there something right here? And my little stash of stuff. Um, nope, just a second. They were in my in my to be coffee dyed. So this is just a a plain old index card, and it's going to be a pocket. So we don't care about the don't care about those. But my thought was, what if I just line these up on the pocket, and um, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I think. It, I could, I think it'll be pretty. Okay, um, I'm trying to decide how to do this. I think what I'm going to do is kind of lay them out, then push them to the side and glue this. Maybe even just a little bit, because my thought was that I might sew down each strip. Do I even need to glue them is the question. And it, my sewing machine would like it a lot better if I didn't, right? Okay, so let's rearrange a little bit and see if we can get the sewing machine over here. Okay. Okay, am I 
where you can see me. I kind of am. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch. Okay, guys, excuse me. I just got to shut off the heater. I'm about to sweat now. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Whew. Warmed it right up in here. I had it. I had it directly on me. Okay, so let's see if we can do this without gluing. Because I think that would be that would be preferable. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Because we're going for the grunge on this one anyway. But I think the um, the stitching adds one more sort of fun layer of, of something. So what if we do a couple different, like, and how about this one's got some blue on it? to remember to put it in camera. <laughs> I was thinking of just putting those up against each other like so. Ish. Okay. So theoretically if I get that put on there just right I should also one on just right I think this is going to be really cute get rid of okay see what else we have we've got a And let's do kind of a tan one, one that's not super colorful. Okay. This is another one of those ideas that's been keeping me up at night. <laughs> um, but I thought, you know, what a great way to use up some strips. Let's see. What else do we have here? Ooh, look how bright and pretty that one is. That is awesome. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do this and then we'll do a half and half again or a, you know, not a whole strip. Let's do a couple of pieces. How about that dark piece? That could be nice. We'll just get that a snip right there and do that. And then how about that one? Those kind of contrast, don't they? Because one's really one's light and one's dark. Okay, so let's get this one started. I 
I will put this up to the camera when we get done so that you can see what it looks like. Oh, I think it's fun though. I really do. Okay, I think I want another bright piece at the top. Let's see, let's see what we got. I think it's kind of fun. All right. Get Mr. Sewing Machine out of the way. What do you think? Isn't that kind of fun? That's kind of different, right? Let's do, let's ink it. But I think that could be we want to do a slight, I think we do, just a slight little divot in the middle here. Come on. I want to cut it. Well, aren't you being persnickety, fine and dandy? That's what scissors are for. It was thick. I will give it that. It was thick. I love it. I love it. Didn't that turn out fun? Look at that. And we used up some we used up some uh, strips. I think that could be really fun for a um, boho journal too. So let's just let's just look for a second. I mean, there's not a lot going on there, right? And we could just put that right on there and have that be a pocket. I like that spot. Too skinny. What's this one? Oh, that's that one. That's got other things we're going to do. I like that one, that first one, right here, yep, I'm going to put that right there, might as well put it in, right? Oh, that's fun. See, I hung over a little bit on the top, that piece was thicker, but that's okay. It's good thick hard stock, so it's going to be just fine in terms of staying put right there. Gonna have to have something fairly smooth to go in and out of this pocket, I would think, with the sewing, but that's okay. Yes, that is nice. I like that a lot. That just really makes that a happy page, doesn't it? Oh, so much fun. Yeah, so I'm going to actually clip that because it's not wanting to stay super bad. Just 
make sure it adheres properly. Maybe one more up there. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna set this over here to dry. Well, that was fun. What else do we want to do? What else do we have in mind? I've been cutting out. I've been cutting out my um my trims, my four new kits of trims. I've been cutting those out and getting them ready to to put in my books so that I have them. I'm excited though to use these because I think they'll be awesome in um, autumn journals. And so I was thinking I really want to take them with me to my retreat. Okay, these are the non, these ones don't have any sticky. I'm gonna go this way so they stick out of the book and look pretty like that. But yeah, but those are gonna go, those are gonna go with me and I'll just finish fuddy, fuddy, fuddy cutting, <laughs> fussy cutting these tonight. That'll be good. Okay, so we made our little strip. We made the three, the three pocket, the three envelope pocket, and we made this fun little one too. So I think that's probably pretty good for a little craft with me today. I'm going to go see if I can get some printing done and then I'll have that for the retreat too. And thanks everybody so much for hanging out today and crafting with me. And we will just see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.